just recently, they announced a remake of House Party. Yeah. So is that official official? Yeah, you know what? That, I mean, I'd actually known about this for like the last like two, three years. Huh. You know, that, that LeBron James had acquired the, the rights to do House Party ah. and had enlisted the, uh, the aid of um, some of the uh, producers and writers of the TV show Atlanta. Huh. So I heard this uh, over two years ago, um, and I remember being excited about it then. I'm like, okay, look, dude, I already know LeBron. LeBron loves old school, loves house party. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to, uh, you know, he's going to pay respect to, to the franchise. And, you know, that crew over at the show Atlanta, that's one of my favorite shows. You know, I love I love it. They're, I think that's a great combination to to do something new with it. And so I and, I and I'm assuming that the pandemic kind of slowed things up, but um, I, it looks like things are ramping up. They, I saw they cast the uh, the two leads. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, Who yeah. Are the two Look, leads. Um, I, you know, I, I forgot their names, but um, you know, two good-looking young dudes and stuff look like you know they got look they got a cool energy and a cool vibe. So they got that. And um, uh, another uh, producer friend of mine said that they're actually reaching out for people to submit. Uh, music in the coming weeks uh, here as we, well. Here we go. Here we go. I actually so, uh, found yeah, the two they're guys. on their way now. They're rolling. Okay. Now. Got a light skin dude and a, yeah, and a brown yeah. skin dude. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Are I you mean, guys they, uh, asked to be a part of it at all? Or no, 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 no. Not not at this uh, not at this particular point. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just know what the you know whatever they're gonna do with it, it's gonna be fresh and it's gonna put like a new uh, new energy, new coat of paint on it. Like I said, I mean I'm a, I'm a LeBron fan. Period, and particularly with the stuff that he does um, uh, off the court, and so you know a lot of the moves he's been making in the business out here in LA have been really, really cool stuff. He aligns himself with cool stuff. He hires the cool, cutting edge people. So yeah, I mean they're going to be fine. I mean if we're a part of it, that'd be you know that'd be awesome in some kind of way. But but if not, shoot, I you know I'll go. I'll, that'll get me back to the movie theater. I'll go. I'll get mm. my popcorn. You know what I'm saying? But. I just like I just like how they're doing it, and like I said, I think it felt like the like the pandemic, you know, slowed things down a bit, like it did for a lot of things that were in production. Um, but they look like they're rolling now. So, well, yeah, I remember. I think in our first interview, I came from Kid and Play, and I approved this house party. <laughs> <laughs> remember in our first interview, we talked about how uh, LeBron had that State Farm commercial, yeah, where he was doing the Kid and Play dance. That's right. <laughs> the kick step. That's right. And uh, you know, LeBron just has a love for. Yeah, you old school hip hop. I remember he had the the music video with uh, "Welcome to the Terror Dome" yeah. as the main song, which is a very controversial song. The fact that he was able to push that through it just shows LeBron is LeBron. Yeah, LeBron is is awesome, and and like I said, you can you you can tell he has an affinity for like you know certain old school things. You know, institutions like House Party, mm -hmm. like Public Enemy music. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's probably I'm sure that's probably like his his mother's influence or his family's influence mm -hmm. on him, you know, as he was coming up. And now he's just so cognizant of everything that's going around him. You know, he he wants to reach back into the past and and uplift some of these 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 different things. You know, we did the show where cats are kicking it in the barber shop and chopping mm -hmm. it up and talking yeah. shit. You know, that's you know, that's legendary, you know, the black stuff that that in our in our history and and um you know, I you know, I just I just love the vibe, man. I just love the vibe. I don't, I just it's just amazing how how there's enough hours in the day for for you know people like him and doing what they do. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, wait. And on that note, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say this because uh, me and him was going back and forth recently, uh, and you've asked me about him in, in the past, uh, Steve Stout. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I want to give uh, Stout a big shout out. I know he just got this big deal he did uh, with Apple. Uh, with uh, United Masters, United Masters, yeah, and um, you know, uh, I reached out to him to congratulate him because it's an it's an amazing accomplishment, and you know, you know, me and him was some day one motherfuckers, and to see uh, the strides that he's made, you know, we're we're we we uh, we appreciate him, we appreciate the journey. So I just want to shout him out. I don't know him and LeBron are like this, so dope. 